the God of this commission is faithful. Mom and Dad, I honor Grace. I love you so much. God has delivered me from the grip of death. I saw death every day in my life. But I'm here to testify that God is not yet done with me. He's a merciful God. Yeah. When I conceived my child, actually the first time I got the first child, the enemy took it. The second child, the enemy took. The third child, the enemy was not able to take because you we are well connected to this grace. So, when I got the third child, I, I got into fear and the enemy got an opportunity to attack severely. When the enemy could not attack the child, the enemy attacked my mind, the brain. I got into panic attacks. Doctors here, I hope so you understand panic attacks, what they are. Panic attack disorder, whereby you feel like you're losing breath. Panic attack is just almost like heart attack, but it's not a heart attack. You feel like you're dying. You're pregnant with your baby, you're having heart palpitations. Your mind is not okay, you cannot walk well. You walk when you're staggering. You're carrying a pregnancy in your womb. When you're having panic attacks, you feel like the umbilical cord is being pulled. You want to fall, you want to collapse. But each and every day, despite what I was going through, I appeared in this altar. And I used to tell God, in his word he says, by the reason I came into your sanctuary, God, may I find help. It got to a point I was so afraid that I started depending on men. I wanted to go and stay into people's houses. But there's a time that God spoke to me that the solution is not in man. The solution is in me. I stood in prayer. I thank God for Papa also and Mama. They also stood with me in prayer. Each and every day I went to God with the book of scripts. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I went to God with that scripture every day. Sometimes it's so tough. You can't eat. Those people who saw me in the initial stages, it was so bad. I was dying. But I saw God deliver me from the grip of death. I cannot die now. I cannot die now. I'm still there to serve God. I'm still waiting to celebrate my baby. I got to a point, you're walking on the streets, you're staggering. You're almost falling. You can't sleep in the night. Pregnant women enjoy their sleep, but you cannot sleep. You try and lay your head on the bed. You feel something pulling your head. You feel something, I don't know, I can't explain it. You feel something pulling your head. It's not headache. It's, you're not feeling headache, but you feel there's like something pulling your head so hard. You wake up from the bed, your heart is beating so fast. You feel like you're ready, you're dead. You're ready, you're dead. But I told God, remember. Remember my services, oh God, on this altar. Remember the days, Lord. Like Ezekiah cried. Remember God. I told God, remember, I'm not yet done serving you. Remember. And actually, I've seen God deliver me from progress, process to process. It was gradual. I used to see the praise and worship. Something that used to pain me so much. Sing the praise and worship ministering to God. I cannot stand anymore and serve God. That's the only thing I used to cry to God. Nothing else. Nothing else. I, I see my fellow brethren singing to God. I tell God, remember, I want to come back and serve you. I got my complete deliverance. That day, Papa told me the battle is over. 
I remember. I remember that night I did not sleep. I was crying to God. Father, your blessings make it rich and adds no sorrow. Am I going to die with my baby? If someone has to die, then Lord, let me die after deliver delivering the child. That was the level of my faith. I was crying to God, but I felt the Spirit of God lead me to pray, to pray for Papa. That night I was praying for Papa. I was praying for Papa. The people that the Spirit of God led me to pray for. I witness. When I came to church that day, I told God, look at me, you are. Father, tell me something. Am I going to recover from this? And indeed, God spoke to me. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. The word came. Remember this? She was praying. And then the word came that the battle is over. If you could come here in between the week and you meet her, she looked like a mad woman. How many saw her? She looked bad. One that was praying for her in my three day of fasting and prayer. And the Lord told me, anytime she comes in, allow her and pray for her. So I told the husband and I told her, every time you see me, come I pray for you. The devil took the first child, second child, third. All of them at what month? At the fourth month. Let me tell you, this testimony is not a joke. You take in, it goes. You take it. The last one, the baby died in a very funny way. I asked the Lord, why is he losing children? God told me, those that don't want her to bear a child have vowed she will never have a child. So God told me, every day you see her, pray for her. There are times she could come into my office in the middle of meditation and I stop everything. Let me tell you something. One thing that was common, she could leave her house and come and stay on this altar. Stay on this altar. Cry to God. God told me if she will pass the fourth month, she will see her baby. This is what God has done. She could come in and she could feel completely mad. Now listen. By the time she was getting pregnant, the husband had no job. The time she took him, God told me, and I asked him, I sat down and I asked him, are you ready for a child after they lost the other one? God told me, tell them it's a time for me to give them a child. The, whom, the lady feared because of what she had gone through. The husband told me, we are ready. I told him, God told me that you're going to get a baby. The moment she got a child, the husband got a job. Just like that. <laughs> 